everyone, so today I've got quite a different video for you all and it's not something I've ever done before but I'm basically just going to be showing you a makeup, hair and outfit look for back to school. Um, this has been quite highly requested so I thought I'd just give it a go. Where I go to school we have to actually wear a uniform but to make it a bit more interesting and fun I just thought I'd put in an outfit that I would wear if I got to choose. I know some people do get to choose what they wear so maybe this might give you a few tips. And let me know when you were all going back to school. I think I'm going back to school like September. As always this is just my personal preference. You don't have to do anything like this. You can wear less makeup, more makeup, whatever. This is just what I would wear. I like to go for quite a natural fresh face look for school but if you want the look to be a bit more dramatic, you can do that. Or if you don't even want to wear any makeup at all, you can do that. This is just what I would do. All the makeup that I'm using is all high street, so it's all really affordable and perfect for just kind of using at school because I, like I use loads of expensive makeup for school anyway, so yes. Yeah, I really hope you liked the video. I really enjoyed making it and let me know any other videos you'd like to see. And yeah, let's just get started. So I'm starting off with just a fresh face, as you can see I've got quite a few spots at the moment so I'm just going to start off by covering them up with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to blend that all in just using my fingers because I prefer to use that because it's a bit more natural for me but you can use brushes if you want. And I'm then using my collection concealer to just go over the places where I want a bit more coverage. And then using this MUA blush called Dolly to just give a really nice colour on the cheeks and this is only one pound and works so well. I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush with my sleek contour palette in light and I'm just taking the contouring shade to just add a bit of definition to my face. I'm using the highlight part of the palette and I'm just using that on my cheekbones and anywhere where I want a bit of shimmer. I'm now using a little spoolie to just brush through my eyebrows and separate them a bit. I'm now using my collection eyebrow pencil in the blonde shade and this is just so good for adding a bit of definition and it's not too orange. I'm then taking the same contour shade from the palette on my eyelid and it looks really natural because it's the same shade. Using the highlight shade from the palette on the centre of my eyelid to just make it a bit more brightening. I'm using a body shop brush to just put some of the same contour shade under my eye to just give some subtle definition. I'm not using liquid eyeliner because it's a bit too dramatic but I'm just using this eyeliner from Miss Sporty to just add a bit of definition and don't poke yourself in the eye like I just did. For mascara I'm using one from Seventeen and I really like to turn the mascara around and then just put a bit on the edges to make my eyes look a lot bigger. I'm using a Burt's Bees lip balm to just keep my lips moisturised. I'm using an MUA lip liner to just add a bit of definition to my lip. I'm just taking my hair out of the bobble and as you can tell it looks a bit crazy. <laughs> I'm just using a brush to get all the knots out of my hair and I usually do it from the bottom to the top to not pull my hair. And I'm using my L'Oreal texturising hairspray to just add a bit of volume to my hair and make it a bit more messy for the hairstyle. Just taking the middle part of my hair and just tying it up out my face. I'm just going to pull it and just kind of mess it up a bit because I prefer it to look less neat and a little bit messy. So 
so this is the outfit I picked. The top is from Pull and Bear and I really like it because it has a nice zip on the back which is simple but adds a bit of character. Underneath it I have a top from New Look because the Pull and Bear top is quite see-through and the shirt around my waist is from New Look. The plain black leggings are from H&M and I really like them because they're so comfy for school. The bag is from New Look and I really like it for just holding all my school books in and I just feel like it's really autumn-y so it's good for going back for the autumn term. The shoes I'm wearing are from New Look and I just love the pattern on them and they're so comfy for walking around. For accessories I have this ring from Urban Outfitters and this bracelet which I made myself and this necklace is also from Urban Outfitters. So that's the finished look, I really hope you all liked it and I will see you in my next video, bye!